Ever wondered what are deep fakes? How do they work? And what can we do to protect ourselves against deep fakes? My name is Sean Batir and this is Tech Explained. So, a deep fake is a photo, video, or audio recording that you might think is real, but is actually not because it was manipulated using AI. You may have seen this on TikTok, Instagram, or even YouTube, where the tool was used to replace human faces, manipulate facial expressions, and create entirely new faces and speeches that have never been seen before. I guess you've heard about the viral Tom Cruise TikTok videos, which were actually made by a video creator from Belgium. He made these realistic TikToks by combining traditional CGI and visual effects with deep fakes. And if you haven't seen that, then you might actually remember some of your friends and family putting their faces on celebrities with the Ukrainian app Reface AI. It created some pretty creepy, lifelike outputs that let you, for a hot minute, become Wonder Woman or Taylor Swift. The root of why this technology is so lifelike stems from its use of generative models, which try to learn the underlying data distribution of an image. Today, I'm here to give you the 101 behind how these generative model algorithms work. There are two things that you need to know about deep fakes. As of 2021, while there are many advanced algorithms that are used to create deep fakes, the most basic version uses something called a deep autoencoder. Now, while Reface used something like generative adversarial networks, also known as GANs, for their deep fakes, today I'll be talking to you about autoencoders predominantly because they're a little bit simpler in terms of their design. Now, an autoencoder has two parts that you'll need to know the encoder and the decoder. Now the encoder part of the autoencoder is used to discover the latent features of both your face and the face of the person that you want to face swap or make a deep fake with. These latent features are the underlying parts of your face that you can share with most human beings. For example, we all have eyes, a nose, and a mouth in roughly the same place. The encoder figures out what is similar between those two faces. We call the place where we put this information a feature set. And from there, we give the second part of the autoencoder, the decoder, the feature set of your face, which gets connected with, let's pretend, the celebrity decoder. That celebrity decoder is then used to reconstruct the celebrity's face on top of your original face. And voila, that's how deep fakes work. So to wrap it up, we use an autoencoder, which has two pieces of the puzzle, the encoder and the decoder. The encoder compresses your face into basic latent features that make you uniquely you. We call these latent features the feature set, and the autoencoder then sends that information to the decoder. The decoder then does the heavy lifting and figures out how to merge and put a celebrity's face on top of your original face. Now with simpler AI models, it may still be possible to spot the difference between a deep fake and a genuine image. Often, deepfakes might have inconsistent eye blinking or lesser definition in some facial features. And if you're overlaying a female face, then there might also be a mismatch in earrings. However, the newer versions of deepfakes are becoming able to learn these subtle features, including how to copy and imitate the original video's lighting. The truth is, while you might think that deepfakes are relatively benign and they can be successfully deployed for commercial use, deepfakes unfortunately can also be used for exploitation. Not only can people use deep fakes for revenge, but they can also use them for disinformation and ultimately undermining public trust. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you guys found this helpful, then definitely click a like and subscribe to my channel. My name is Sean Batir and this is Tech Explained, a video series where I explain difficult things around us using simple and understandable language.